everything. Your suffering is almost at an end. Hello, followers, and welcome back to Fancy. And today, a few Stranger Things four was awesome. I loved every minute of Stranger Things season four. Uh, you know, I'm a physical media guy. I prefer my physical media, my discs, my Blu-rays, all that. And uh, I, you know, I do give Netflix a lot of crap on here because uh, you know, I just streaming uh, has done a lot of bad things. But uh, one good thing that Netflix has done, and that is Stranger Things. And uh, honestly, this was like the first time I've actually turned on my Netflix since uh, December, January of last year, whenever Cobra Kai, the new season of Cobra Kai came out, uh, because literally Cobra Kai and uh, Stranger Things are only two things I like on Netflix. And I've been waiting for season four for such a long time. Uh, I enjoyed season one. I think season one is a brilliant piece of television. It's probably still the best uh, season of the series, but season four comes pretty darn close to uh, matching that if not exceeding it in some aspects but man I have loved this season this season starts off uh, right where last season ended everybody has gone their separate ways and uh, you know we pick right up with this new mystery because uh, the hopper is now in Russia uh, L and uh, my or L and uh, will and will's brother which I cannot remember and their mom uh, when a writer who's still hot as ever is uh, <laughs> is uh, in California and Steve and Dustin and uh, Mike and all the rest of them and Lucas are back in Hawkins and Lucas is trying to break away from the group which he needed a much more uh, character driven arc because he has sort of been left behind and I'm glad they finally stepped up his character a little bit this year and uh, we got a bunch of new characters added to the show which I always get a little weary when they add new characters because sometimes those new characters uh, they're not likable and they kind of overshadow the characters we've come to love and enjoy. But these new characters actually were done right. And specifically Eddie Munson, uh, one of my all time new favorite characters, great characterization. Uh, Disney star Wars needs to take notes with this character because this is how you take a character, uh, and add him in, a new character and add him into an existing franchise and get the fans on their side, uh, you know, because Disney, they just don't know how to do it. And this did it perfectly. And Vecna, the new villain of the show, is like this flesh and blood, a practical effect monster, just awesome. Uh, and like the Duffer brother said, you know, there's, this season was inspired by uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Hellraiser, uh, it, and you really felt those inspirations in this season. And it wasn't done in a way where like um, it feels like they're just copying or using the best bits of those for member berries and saying, hey, look, we're in the 80s. Remember how this movie was in the 80s? It really felt like they grasp what they were uh, doing and uh, like oh I recognize that because I'm a huge 80s horror fan so I recognize a lot of that and and it was really great to do. I mean they, they played into the satanic panic this year with Eddie Munson and his, the Hellfire group of D&D &D players which D&D &D players are still sort of being vilified to this day but in a different form now and so like the mystery begins Eddie gets blamed for the murder of Chrissy uh, who is also a new character who I thought was going to be a really good character and then like they went for it in that first episode which was really great and so uh, you know that sets off the chain of events and you know all the different stories you know Hopper is being rescued by uh, Joyce and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name I'm sorry I'm really bad with names but the guy the news reporter who was in all the ones they go save Hopper uh, Mike and Will and his brother and their new character Argyle which was a really great cool character and honestly if it wasn't for Argyle in uh, their section of the story I I kind of zoned out a lot on uh, Will and Mike's story. That was probably the, the weakest part of the season, in my opinion. And then back in Hawkins, you know, Max has been targeted by the Vecna. And Max has been one of my least favorite characters on the show. I've enjoyed every character on the show, and she's always felt like she's been shoehorned in there and was just like this generic... Uh, character and like I've like we've never seen a smart ass uh, skateboarding female character before or male character either way could got either way uh so I just never really thought she fit in and this year they really did it stepped up on her characterization as well too so I'm really glad about that uh, but I'm still I'm still not liking her but damn running up that hill be running up that building uh you know if if I only could make a deal with god that that really set off the the tone of this series and it worked and uh trying to keep protect her and then all the threads of these uh stories coming together and then in volume 2 which we just recently got 
It was absolutely amazing. You know, we get to finally see the culmination of Papa, Elle's Papa in that storyline ending, which was finally fitting. And then she said goodbye to him and she got her powers back because she had lost her powers from the last season. And then we move on into uh, the final showdown between Vecna and Eleven and uh, the gang. And as all these come together and they had some really great things, Hopper taking on one of the Demogorgons with the sword slaying the dragon. That was badass. Uh, Elle versus Vecna and finding out who Vecna is. I don't want to spoil too much. I'm sure everybody's seen this. Like I said, you probably watched a million videos on Stranger Things now. You know all of it. Uh, so just if you like mine, please check it out here. Uh, but it was really great to see Vecna and Eleven go face to face and the story that was built up between them and sort of a little bit of a retcon of Elle's past, but enough to where it was like it makes sense now and Vecna finding out who he is and uh, how he's been behind pretty much everything in the Upside Down and Stranger Things since it started was really great touch. And, uh, you know, just like the combination, it was like a it's truly... Uh, a great ending season where it was it wasn't like everything was wrapped up nice and neat where the heroes win there was losses it was there's consequences it was very empire strikes back and i loved it and i can't wait to see what happens in season five which i know season five they've said that will will play a bigger part um the story will all take place in hawkins it won't be as long as this season and uh the pairings will be more traditional like in the first season which i'm really interested to see because they stuck the landing on season four so i'm hoping that season five uh you know pull, pulls it out all the way through and it isn't one of those where it's like ah oh, season one two three four was great but the ending was bad so i hope it doesn't pull out like that but i enjoyed this eddie munson playing a master of puppets on top of his trailer and upside down was the most metal thing ever i absolutely loved that i had to bring that up that was great and uh you know this shirt right here that i'm wearing is inspired Inspired by the Hellfire Club uh, shirt. I made this physical media club. You can get it at my merch store. So check that out. But yeah, if you've not seen this or if you've ever been interested in Stranger Things, uh, get into it and get to season four. I know not everybody likes it and I know not everybody likes streaming, especially since I'm a, mostly a physical media channel here. But uh, you, the, the 80s horror vibe and love is great. And Robert England is in this. And if the Duffer Brothers were to ever make a Nightmare on Elm Street movie, I think they could do that. I think they would be the ones to help bring back Freddy Krueger, Robert England especially after watching this season because this season man it's stranger things i don't know what they did but they brought it back they brought it back especially when the show is on its last leg like this it's hard to uh keep the audience interested and they did that so let me know what you guys thought about all this in the comment section down below and uh remember just always continue to support physical media hit the like button if you like what you saw here subscribe hit that button for notifications share the video out for everybody to see wherever you guys are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night godspeed